were American, but we moved to Brazil when I was very small, and my first musical memory is not even very musical. I heard a samba school far away, and it sounded like thunder, you know? So maybe that was a big influence on me. Yeah, I've been in a lot of bands. My first band was called DNA. I was in a band called The Lounge Lizards. Then I was in a band called The Golden Palominos, Kip Hanrahan, John Zorn. Um, I played with a lot of people in New York, but it was a small group. It, 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 was, a, it was a neighborhood kind of situation. But because it was in New York City, people all over the world were paying attention. And somehow, this, this moment, you know, seems to have had a big impact. I'm a student of just one master. So now I ended up producing a record, and the first record that I produced, along with Peter Scher, was a Caetano Veloso record called Estrangeiro. And that immediately made me a very popular producer in Brazil. Down to one beat of sweat. Producing is an interesting job. I think it's a healthy exercise for every artist. We're releasing a two CD set called Encyclopedia of Ardo. One CD of pop tracks and one CD of solo performances, just voice and guitar. I guess I'm asking people to make a connection between these two styles, and I'm wondering how people will, will react. Yeah, the cover of my CD, those are pictures of my dad that he took in college with his friends, and uh, they're it's where my dad is pretending to jump out the window and kill himself. And there's a shot of his friend trying to stop him, then he's falling through the air, then he's lying on the ground. And I thought it was wild, you know, to have a picture of my own dad pretending to kill himself on the cover. It's possible to think about uh, music as a kind of translation between two ways of being, or to think about music as a way of getting somewhere, you know? Because music is sound, and sound is moving air. I'm just trying to think of a way to define music as movement. Dona do jogo, da verdade do fingimento.